is a follow-up of public participation that took place during the creation of the 2035 Long Range Transportation Plan. When issues were raised by shippers, uh, the traveling public, uh, transportation companies, etc., um, as well as railroads with regard to the way that the, the network interacts with each other, uh, cars at railroad crossings, uh, the length of trains, the length of closures, transits, um, need to um, go around trains, etc. We really like to hear from the public, and the public means not only your average citizen, but also from uh, businesses, business owners, and get some understanding what their perception is of how things work while traveling in Decatur, whether it be for business, whether, whether it be for pleasure. What are the issues out there for the traveling public and business uh, owners uh, in the movement of goods and services and people through the community? Where are the bottlenecks? Where, is, where are there things where maybe we can do some improvements from an infrastructure perspective long term? What are the uh, what are the day-to-day -day issues that people run into, whether it be blockages by train, uh, uh, truck traffic, uh, anything that's out there. And that's why we want to solicit input from the public at this time to see what, uh, what are the real issues that they see as they're moving through Decatur. Uh, and, and again, we'd like to know specifically from the public when they have issues like that, um, where, where were they when they're delayed? Uh, what was the appointment that was missed? Uh, is this something that occurs that's impacting getting their kids to school on time? Uh, and where did this take place? So we certainly would like to have that, uh, that specific information. Um, we, you know, as part of this study, uh, we, we know anecdotally where we believe the issues are, but we'd like to, we'd like to hear some more from that. Trains are terrifically important. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't state that uh, clearly enough. Um, not only are they moving goods and services uh, through Decatur to other points, but also there are, uh, we have two, you know, two or three substantial shippers here in Decatur uh, with uh, ADM, Tate and Lyle, and Caterpillar. Uh, those are uh, obviously very important industries for this community, not only providing jobs, but also uh, producing product. They need to have uh, product come in and uh, their finished product go out the door. Um, you know, Decatur has been and has a reputation of being a railroad town. That is, that's great. Uh, Norfolk Southern, CSX, and Canadian National all have substantial presence here in Decatur. However, that when they interact with the highway traffic, uh, there are some times when this becomes a problem. And our part of this study is to identify uh, what those issues are, when they occur, and what potentially we could be that could be done to mitigate those issues. One of the things that we that we will have um, on, on the city's homepage is a link to this information regarding the Dates project, but also a survey uh, that will deal with many of the issues that, that John has mentioned um, in terms of how they can make things better. What issues have they run into uh, that, that caused them stress or delay or um, missing an appointment, um, uh, et cetera? Um, that's one way. Uh, another way is we will have information available um, as, as it's created on the website that people can follow this project um, and continually um, make comments. Um, that's our goal. We, we want, as John said, to make this um, from the people's perspective just as important um, as the stakeholders, the, uh, the industries and businesses' perspective.